Hi everyone, welcome back. So in today's lesson, what we need to do, or what we're gonna be doing is how to find the area of a trapezium. So that's the main objective of today's lesson. So before we do that, does anyone know the main properties of a trapezium? What's so special about a trapezium? Well, it has certain special aspects that you need to remember for your exams, okay? So the first one, it has one pair of parallel lines. Now, what do I mean by parallel lines? So lines that never intersect, okay? So for example, let me grab my pen. Side A and side B are parallel because they are, first of all, they're both straight lines and they never intersect with one another. Okay, so trapezium always has one parallel line. You need to remember this. The second important aspect about it is that it's a quadrilateral. It's, it's, it's part of the quadrilateral family. Quadrilateral basically means it's a four-sided shape. Okay, so a trapezium is a four-sided shape. A kite is a four-sided shape. A square, a rectangle, a rhombus are all part of the quadrilateral family. And the last one is that the four interior angles inside the trapezium add up to 360. Okay, so for example, this angle plus this angle plus this angle plus this angle all adds up to 360 degrees. So angles inside a trapezium need to add up to 360. So that's the three main point, sorry, three main points of a trapezium. The first one, as I said to you before, that a trapezium has one pair of parallel lines. Second one, it's a quadrilateral. It needs to have a four-sided shape. The third one is that the sum interior angle of the trapezium adds up to 360. Okay, so these are very important properties that you need to remember of a trapezium. So now we're going to be moving on. So let's have a look at these four shapes. We need to identify which one of these is a trapezium and which one isn't. Okay, so shape A, sorry, shape number one. It has four sides, so one, two, three, four. And it has parallel lines, so this side is parallel to this side. So shape one is a trapezium now let's have a look at shape number two one two three four five it has five sides so it can't be a trapezium okay remember a trapezium is part of the quadrilateral family and needs to have four sides Shape three, it has one, two, three, four, four sides. But the main reason why shape three isn't a trapezium is because it has two parallel sides. So for example, this side is parallel to this side. And this side is parallel to this side. And if you remember a trapezium needs to have one par pa pair of parallel lines. Okay, so this shape number three has two parallel lines. Shape number four has four sides, one, two, three, four, it has one pair of parallel lines. Okay, and the sum interior adds up to 360, so shape number four is a trapezium. So only shape number one and shape number four are trapeziums. Now, we're gonna have a look at our first example of how do I find the area of a trapezium. Now, what we have is, I'm gonna label this side A and side B. To find the area of trapezium, what we need to do is use this particular equation. Okay, 
area of a trapezium is equal to half times open brackets a plus b close brackets multiplied by the height. Now we have the length of a which is 3 centimeters and the length of b which is 5 centimeters. So all we need to do is substitute the values into this equation. So I know what a is, a is, a is 3, b is equal to 5. So again, when you do this in your exam, you need to write out the equation to get your full marks. So we have area is equal to a half open bracket a plus b close brackets times it by the height. As I said to you before, I've labeled the top side 3 centimeters and the bottom side by 5 centimeters. I'm going to, and, and don't forget the height is 4 centimeters, okay? So the height of this trapezium is 4 centimeters. I'll plug it into this equation. So a is equal to 3, b equals to 5, the height is equal to 4, okay? And this, so 3 plus 5 is 8. 8 times half is 4. So 4 times 4 is 16. Or you can do it another way. You can do 8, 3 plus 5, which is 8. 8 times 4, which is 32. Half of 32 is 16 centimeters squared. Okay, and don't forget unit, units. Whenever you work out the area, it needs to be centimeters squared. Okay, so that's how we work out the area of a trapezium. Now again, this is my trapezium. The only difference from the previous example is that it's slightly rotated 90 degrees, but it doesn't really matter. I'm going to rotate it around to make life a lot easier for us. So, as always, what you need to do is to label your trapezium sides. So this is A and this is B. The height is 10 meters. So again, what we have is that the area of a trapezium, let me write it out over here, is equal to a half times open bracket A plus B close bracket times it by the height. I have the value of A, I have the value B and I have the height. So again, it's a half times 5 meters plus 7 meters, close the brackets, times it by 10 meters. We have a half times 5 plus 7, which will give us 12, times it by 10 meters. Now half of 12 is 6. So we have 6 meters times it by 10 meters. So when you multiply them together, what we have is 6 times 10 is 60 meters squared. So the area of this trapezium is equal to 60 meters squared. And that's how we work out the area of a trapezium. What you need to do first is to label your sides, what sides A, what sides B, identify the height and plug it into the equation and just calculate the area. Very simple. Okay. Now we're going to move on. Oops. So we have these three examples that I have on the board. We have number 1A. Again, the top side is 4 centimeters and the bottom side is 6 centimeters. Now, as always, I'm going to label all the information given to us in the question. So 4 centimeters is equal to A, 6 centimeters is equal to B, 5 centimeters is equal to H. We have the area of a trapezium, so area of trapezium, let me try to squeeze that in over here, is equal to, all right, over here, a half, open brackets, A plus B 
close brackets times it by the height. Now we have all the information given to us in this equation, so I can just plug it into this equation. So a half open brackets four centimeters plus six centimeters close brackets times it by the height which is five centimeters four plus ten four plus six is ten centimeters so we have a half times ten centimeters times by five centimeters a half times by 10 gives us 5 centimeters. So 5 centimeters times 5 centimeters gives us 25 centimeters squared. So the area of this trapezium is equal to 25 centimeters squared. Now let's have a look at 1b. 1b. Again, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to label the sides of this trapezium. So the top one is A and the bottom one is B. And the height is 9 centimeters. So 9 centimeters equals the height. As always, to get your four marks, what you need to do is write the equation out. So area is equal to a half times a plus b times it by the height. We have the value of a, we have the value of b, we have the value of the h. So just plug it into the equation. So a half times open brackets 11 plus 7 times it by the height, which is 9. A half times 18 times 9. A half of 18 is 9, so we have 9 times 9 will give us 81 centimeters squared. Okay, so the area of B, 1B, is equal to 81 centimeters squared. Okay. Now, the last example, 1c, again, it doesn't really matter if it's rotated vertically. So, as always, I'm going to label this top one O is A, and the bottom one is equal to B, and the height is equal to 10 meters. So, again, what you need to do to get your four marks in the exam is area of trapezium. is equal to a half times a plus b times it by the height, a half times, open brackets, a plus 15 times it by 10, a half times 23 times it by 10, now a half, I'll do it the other way around. 23 times it by 10 is 230. Uh, half of, now to work out what half of, it's a half of 230, it's just divided by two. So what we have is the area is equal to area, oops, let me squeeze that in, is equal to, 115 centimeters, sorry, meters squared. Okay, and that's your final answer. So the area is equal to 115 meters squared. Now this is a bit of a functional question. To be able to solve the area problems involving trapeziums. Okay, so imagine this is a house. 
and we need to find the front of a house. So this this bit over here is the roof, and this is the the main body of the house. So this is my front door, and this is my the windows, right? And you are required to work out the area of this entire front house. Now again, it's very simple. What you need to do is just break it down sim uh, in simple terms, okay? So, this shape, the roof of it, obviously isn't looks in the form of a trapezium. So we need to work out the area of the trapezium. And this shape over here is in the form of a rectangle. So we need to work out the area of rectangle. And once we've identified the area, of both, once we've calculated the area of the both the trapezium and the rectangle, all we need to do is add them up. Okay, so let's focus on working out the area of the top trapezium. Okay, so A is equal to 6 meters, B is equal to 11 meters. Okay, so area, I'm going to squeeze it in over here of trapezium is equal to a half times a plus b times the height so half times a plus b so be 6 plus 11 times it by 5 so we have half times 17 times 5, plug it into the calculator, and what we have is 17 times it by half times it by 5, which equals to 42.5 meters squared. So the area of the trapezium is equal to 42.5 meters squared. Now I want to work out the area of the rectangle. So area of rectangle is equal to the height times base. So it's 11 times 8, sorry, 8 times 11, which equals to 88 meters squared. Now to work work out the entire area of these two shapes, right? What we need to do is add them up together. So we have forty two point five meters squared plus eighty eight meters squared equals to a hundred and thirty. 0.5 meters squared and that's a final answer okay so have a go at this question I'm going to give you a couple of minutes to work out the area of this house okay bearing in mind it's very similar to the previous example that we've done together so I'm going to give you a couple of minutes I'll give you a minute Okay, so that's r roughly a minute. You could you could have paused, um, but it's fine. So again, the roof is in the form of a trapezium. So area of trapezium is equal to half times four plus eight times it by three. Half times 12 times 3 
so be six times three. Six times three is eighteen. So we have eighteen meters squared. The area of this trapezium is eighteen meters. Now to find out the area of this rectangle, what you need to do is multiply the height times the base. So area of rectangle is equal to height times the base. So we have five meters times it by eight meters, which will equal to 40 meters squared. Now to work out the total area, what we need to do is just add them together. So area of house is equal to 40 meters squared plus 18 meters squared, which is equal to 58 meters squared. And that's our final answer. Okay, so have a go at these questions. Pause the video if you want and have a go at these questions. There is one question that doesn't equal to height. So I'm just going to put the height over here. So this is 10 centimeters. Just, and yeah, so that's it. Have a go at these questions and I will put the answers on about two seconds. So just pause the video and have a go. All right, thank you very much for watching. Bye.